Hello, my name's Tom. You know, you can find all sorts of wonderful things in the garden here. Sometimes you see big, beautiful butterflies, or wonderful birds, or the occasional hedgehog. But tonight's story is about a little girl who's looking for something a bit more surprising in her grandmother's garden. And it's called There's a Tiger in the Garden, and it's by Lizzie Stewart. Nora is bored. There's nothing to do here, Grandma, she says matter-of-factly. Jeff the giraffe is bored too. Why don't you play in the garden, says Nora's grandma. I thought I saw a tiger there earlier. A tiger? asked Nora. There's no tiger in the garden. I'm too old for silly games. I'm sure I saw one, she replies. And dragonflies the size of birds and plants that can swallow you up whole and a polar bear who likes fishing, though he's a bit grumpy, but most magnificent of all was the tiger. You and Jeff should take a look, if you don't believe me. She's being silly, Jeff, says Nora, standing outside in the garden. There's no tiger here, just the same boring old garden with boring old plants and boring old whoosh. Something whizzes past Nora's face. It's a dragonfly. Wow says Nora. Well, Nora says to Jeff, there might be dragonflies as big as birds, but I know for a fact that there aren't plants that'll eat us whole or a grumpy polar bear, and there's definitely no tiger. Come on, Jeff, let's go home. Jeff? Fine. So there are dragonflies the size of birds, and that bush definitely wanted to eat you. But I don't see any polar bear, and there's no sign of this ridiculous tiger anywhere. Come on, Jeff. Let's go home. Hello, says a gruff, grisly voice. Oh, uh, hello, replies Nora. I suppose you're looking for that wretched tiger, aren't you? Hmm, says the polar bear. No one ever comes looking for me. Oh, not you as well, shouts Nora. There is no tiger living in my grandma's garden. That is just ridiculous. Tigers live in the jungle, not in the garden. And even though there are dragonflies the size of birds and plants that want to eat us, and you are a very grumpy polar bear, there is absolutely, definitely, 100% no tiger. Hmm? says Nora. Hello, says the tiger. Um, <clears throat> tigers don't live in gardens, says Nora. Are you real? I don't know, says the tiger. Are you? Nora thinks about this for a long time. I don't know, she admits. How can you tell? I'm not sure you can, says the tiger. This makes Nora feel a bit funny. I have an idea, says the tiger. If you believe in me, then maybe I'll be real. And if you believe in me, says Nora, then maybe I'll be real too. Deal, says the tiger. Deal, agrees Nora. Come on, says the tiger. I'll give you a ride home. And so Nora and Jeff ride home on the tiger's back. They talk about breakfast and trampolines and the grumpy polar bear. He really is extraordinarily friendly for a tiger. Can I come and see you again? asks Nora when they are near her house. Of course, says the tiger. Whenever you want me, I'll be here. Inside, Nora and Jeff sit down for dinner. There really is a tiger in the garden, isn't there? says Nora. I'm not sure, replies Grandma. Perhaps it's only a ginger cat. It's hard to tell sometimes. No, says Nora. It's absolutely, definitely a tiger. And you know what? What? asks Grandma. There's a mermaid in the bath. Wow. So I guess there really was a, a tiger in the garden after all. 
Now, if you have to stay indoors tomorrow, just remember, your imagination can take you wherever you want to go, from Arctic adventures to a mission to the moon. And your dreams, they can also take you anywhere you want to go as well. So now's the time to settle down, and snuggle up, and sleep tight. Good night, Tigers. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.